Hi. Nice to meet you. Jordan. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm good. A bit hot though. Yeah, it's it really warm, warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's very warm. This is uh, <laughs> this is strange. Have you ever done this before? No, I haven't. Have you? No. No. <laughs> um, so what have you ordered? I voted Remain um, because it's the sensible thing to do. I'm quite hungry, so yeah. I've not eaten very much today. No, I'm starving. We used to agree on one thing. That's a good start. Oh! <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> what aren't we going to agree on? <laughs> I voted to leave the European Union. Why did you vote to leave? Uh, for a variety of reasons, mostly the economy, immigration, but also because I didn't want to be a statistic where they expect young people to vote remain. Like I heard from a lot of people, they regretted it. As soon as it was, you know, announced that we were leaving, they were like, oh crap. And they were like, I actually regret it. But then why did they do it? Because I think they were quite ill-informed, but there was all the scaremongering going on, saying, um, oh, you know, we pay all this money into the EU, we could use this money for the NHS, blah, blah, blah. And then... None of it happened. None of it. It was not true. I also believe there was a lot of scaremongering on the, on the Leave and the, on the Remain campaign, though. I do believe there's a lot of scaremongering How? on the Remain campaign. How? Well, there was a lot of people saying, no, if we vote Remain, no, if we vote Leave, then economically we're going to be doomed and we're going to be outside of Tesco fighting over baguettes. We and, were a little bit doomed. You know, bit, and this going to. <laughs> Yeah, we were for a bit, yeah, but this was talking about like it's going to start and then before you know it, we're going to be, you know, living in bins and fighting over the last sprout and stuff. That's the kind of stuff that was coming out. We would fight over a sprout, seriously. Well, Definitely yeah, I agree. Me. I don't know where that came from. I think it's the nerves talking. A little bit, yeah. It is, it's, yeah. It is. Mm. Are you not nervous at all? Um, yeah, because. It's all very new. I've actually never been on a blind date before, so thank no. you. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually went on a date. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what do you mean, wow? That's surprising. Well, don't just go out with anyone. grab hold of all those people, young people that voted leave, and say something right in their face, what would you say to them? Why did you do it? Come on! I woke up that morning, turned on the TV, looked at my phone, had like loads of WhatsApps. WhatsApps for days. And then, um, turned on the TV and then the man said, we're leaving. I was like, holy flipping cheese. Like, seriously. <laughs> I had a similar reaction to be I fair. was like, really? I was convinced that we were going to stay in. So. I was convinced we were going to stay in. I'm I surprised. was in shock. So we had a similar reaction. Yeah. But then how did you feel after that? Were you like, hee hee hee? I pretty much skipped to work, to be honest. <laughs> I was there. Who even skips to work on a normal day? I was, I was happy. I remember I was in the shower, I was there. Uh, Singing, I, I was out of the shock. There was shock, probably a similar shock to yourself, but when it sank in and I just carried on watching the news, I was like, oh my god, we've actually done it. Who do you vote for normally? Uh, Conservatives. God. <laughs> Why do you keep saying all the wrong things? <laughs> I don't know. Who did you vote for? Labour. Why do you keep saying the wrong things? Yeah. Should I just leave now? <laughs> no. I'll eat and then go. I'm very opinionated. I get quite worked up quite easily and I'll often shout at the news and <laughs> air my views quite uh, unashamedly. I have a question for you. Oh, God. If there is a revote, do you mm -hmm. reckon more people will vote? More people, what the oh, because it was like a the turnout wasn't one hundred percent, was it? Yeah, yeah, more people would vote. Yeah, and I think Remain would win. But then I'd be the first person on that picket saying I want another, I want to revote. Isn't hindsight a beautiful thing, eh? <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, it'd be a bad thing in this instance, but yeah. The worst case scenario for me would be that they think I'm just an idiot and a racist, to be honest. Did you get that? Did you get an that? An awful lot, awful lot, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had a lot of negative reaction to the way I voted, the way I think. Have people, like, been mean to you? People knew how I voted. I would get aggressive messages online, I get threats. Are you being serious? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You're the only person I've spoken to that's actually had a bad reaction from the way you voted. Really? I find that quite surprising. I wonder why that is. As long as they respect what I say, you know, that's fine, but don't be a nasty pasty. I didn't just go, oh, I went out because because of bloody foreigners and this, that and the other. I, you know, I, <laughs> there are reasons. Can you say that? You can't say that. Um, but that wasn't, you know, that wasn't just the way I was. You know, obviously I made sure, I, I knew I was going to vote that way, but I made sure I understood what I was voting for, and I do understand what I voted for. So you'd stick by your decision? If we could vote again, you'd still vote leave? I would vote you leave. Would, you wouldn't change your mind? 99 times out of 100. So were you 100 times out of 100, you'd always vote remain? Yeah. 100 times out Absolutely of 100? Absolutely no doubt. Yeah? Nothing would ever? No, because I just want stuff to say the same. How was it? Was it a good time? A good yeah, time? it was good. <clears throat> yeah. Healthy debate. Yeah. Yeah, it was good fun. It's nothing worse than having awkward silences on dates. So no. I was quite... And that's literally non-stop. Like talking yeah, I, I suppose I can. I chat like a monkey a lot of the time, but about actually something interesting for a change. Yeah, instead of just gas. Yeah. I definitely surprised you though. So a few times where you're like, damn, she's actually said something really good there. Yeah. A few <laughs> times where I was like, right, this will get her. Oh, she's yeah, answered yeah. again. Yeah. No, I was. But I was you surprised me as well though. Did you manage to change each other's mind at all on anything? No. No. I'm not that persuasive. Have you learned anything about Remain voters from your day? Um, yeah, not as bad as I thought. Oh, I'm, more I'm one of a kind though. A bit more under <laughs> understanding of both sides of the argument instead of being just militant and staunch. Um, just more, just, you know, an educated point of view, which I wasn't, which I wasn't expecting, if I'm being brutally honest. Mm. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>